What is up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here and today I'm going to show you how to fix the add-on for the application is corrupted error that you may be facing on your PlayStation 4. So let's say it's COD or right, Hollow Knight or whatever game, Roblox, right? And there's like an add-on that, probably not Roblox, that you add it on into the game and this error is coming up. There's a few things that you can do to fix this error. The first thing you can do is you can actually click into the uh, options button and then kind of do like check for update and see if there's something here, right? Okay, great. If there's no update, that's fine. You can also go to information and then kind of make sure like everything looks good over here and you may need to technically like delete and re- uh, what's it called download the game as well to see if this ends up fixing your it, your issue for you Because you'd be surprised a lot of times kind of like doing these types of things It does end up like fixing these issues So you want to kind of make sure you have everything like up to date now If that also doesn't work the next thing you can do is you want to go to settings and you want to go into where it says uh, Let's find it I believe it's maybe uh, yeah, account management and in here, you want to press restore licenses. So it says over here, if you become unable to use content you downloaded from PlayStation Store, there might be a problem with the license for the content. Try restoring licenses. This is literally a thing that PlayStation is telling you to do, right? <laughs> so you want to obviously be doing this as well. So make sure you do do this. Uh, sometimes it does take long, especially on the PlayStation 4. So you want to be cognizant of that uh, and be sure to kind of do this step to ensure that you get this basically done and get this error fixed. Uh, once this is done, see, restart your console and see if this fixes it for you. If it does not, the final thing you can do, and I will leave a video that I've done in the link in the description below, it's extremely easy to do. If you wanna literally turn off your console, you can follow literally my verbal steps. You don't need to visually see this either, but again, I'll leave a video in the description. You wanna fully turn off your console until the light on the side stops flashing. You wanna hold on to the power button until you hear two beeps, if no beeps, cause your console's old like mine, just eight to 10 seconds and let go. Put in your uh, USB cable from your console to your controller and then go you'll be entered into safe mode basically and just rebuild the database Literally rebuilding the database is going to fix this issue for you as well This is like the final thing you can do. So yeah, that's basically it If you guys still have any comments questions concerns, let me know in the comment section below I'm more than help you guys out if you guys are like this video Please smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And I'm coming out